I used to visit my friend Kuzan here a hundred years ago. So everyone just follow my lead and stay cool. Or as they say in the Fire Nation, stay flaming. I don't know about that. High tech designed this with reconfigurable technology. You think we can rebuild this vehicle into something else? Mm, I think we better have to. Listen. Something's following us, bros, and I don't think it's a parade. You can do it, Duncan. I don't care if your odds are five million to one, no! Don't worry, boy. I'll love you even if you don't win. My daughter Cynthia is the star of the show. She's Macbeth? No, she's a witch. So I hear. That was today? Oh, I feel simply awful. <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. He's a giant robot, Dean. It's a little undignified. Well, I suppose you'd have found out sooner or later. You being so clever and all. We were very lucky. It was only a little one. It's out now. Hmm. I think we should get Mommy and Rosie to practice a fire drill. That way we'll all know what to do if the fire alarm goes off again. The fire drill sounded exciting and important. Caillou wanted to do it. I'll get Mommy and Rosie. Where did you guys get the money to buy all this stuff? Toph got us money. He scammed one of those guys in town who moves the shells around all sneaky-like. You were ashamed of yourselves. But Captain Hook is most insistent when they... Yeah. He says we'll walk the plank if we don't. Oh, no, we won't. Peter Pan will save us. Okay, we're going to have a fire drill. First, let's listen to the alarm again to recognize it. Good idea. I want to do it. Please. <coughs> Daddy explained that when the fire alarm goes off, the first thing to do is to get out of the house as quickly as possible. Got it? Ready to try? Hey, lucky for you, Chuck Homer's Happy Households is having a special on my patented Perfect Parent Pack. Good lord, what has become of the sport of kings? Get bent. Oh! <gasps> That's my third monocle this week. I simply must stop being so horrified. There it is. The Golden Griffin. The award given to the class which exhibits the greatest knowledge of medieval history. Boy, Mr. Rapper sure wants to win that Golden Griffin. We came so close to winning last year. If we all try our hardest, I'm sure this is the year we finally win. I bet we can win, because what class on Earth does as much homework or works as hard as we do? <gasps> oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been brought to my attention that Jasmine's Lemonade Parade has been using child labor. Obviously, this comes as a great surprise to me. So I present to you, Onceler's Cruelty-Free Lemonade. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Dee. Just remember, you've got a new persona. Jimmy, you're going to be a fabulous Macbeth. Now show Sheen how to operate the special effects. Okay, Sheen, all you have to do is press the buttons. Got it. I'm not done. You press the buttons one at a time. Got it. I'm not done. Press the buttons one at a time when they light up. It isn't him you want anyway. Your business, I believe, is with the pack. As it happens, their social calendar shows them arriving at Pack Media Studios any time now. They're expecting you. It never mattered. That was merely the icing. You're the cake. The whole escape was staged to give you a shot at an early parole. Plus, I got a chance to test this prototype humanoid robot. But they destroyed it. What about your revenge? Revenge, as they say, is a sucker's game. Stall! We have to prepare a stall for Bucephalus for him to stay in while he's here. <laughs> you and Bailey take Alexander around while we try to find Alma. Hey, Alexander. How'd you like to go for a ride around the grounds? Yeah, we can go up in the hills, too. Um, yeah, sure thing. Oh, yes. Lucky Daddy was there to save you, eh? Oh, and just between us, you might want to work on that little roar of yours, hmm? I bet if we take a little walk around town, we'll find out what these people did to the environment to make the spirits mad. And then you can sew up this little mystery lickety-split avatar style. 
so you have got to stay in the forest, and I'll bring you some food tomorrow. Spacecom has just confirmed that our most advanced surveillance satellite has been blasted out of orbit somewhere over Antarctica. And there'll be no stopping Cobra. Ready for action, dude. Just give the word. You're good to go, Wild Bill. We'll meet you at Cobra Mountain. Understand? Absolutely, sir. Hey, Joe, where you been? We haven't seen you in days. Uh, ever since Mayor West deployed the police to Cartagena, yeah, I've been working nonstop. The only reason I didn't have to go myself is that South America isn't wheelchair accessible. Hey, you guys, we should help Joe out. We could be cops, right, Joe? Well, we have started an emergency training program. How about it, Owen? Any chance of tracking them? It's unnecessary. There's only one abandoned laboratory that Goliath knows about to gain access to. Cyberbionics old underground research facility. Excellent. Now all we have to do is... The first step in becoming a perfect parent is protecting those tender young minds from the brain-rotting influence of bad music! It's showtime! <clears throat> Bonsoir! And welcome to the world premiere of Macbeth in Space! Thank you. The part of Macbeth, normally played by Nick Dean, will be played... Oh! I know how it begins! Once upon a time... Nope. Fooled again. I'd say you were dumb as a post, but at least you can put a sign on a post that says fresh strawberries one mile. One, two, three, toss! Uh, <laughs> the eggs are supposed to be tossed between students, not at the principal. Jiminy, what does happen next? There. Now remember, if there is ever a fire, once you're outside, do not go back in the house. Right? Right. Okay, now we make sure everybody is here. Then we call the fire department from a neighbor's house. Caillou decided to pretend he was a firefighter coming to help. Thank you. Macbeth will be played by Jimmy Neutron. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna go give Jimbo a few last-minute acting tips before he gets started. Yeah. He'll be fine, Hugh. After all, he is a genius. We just received some fascinating expense reports from Genutech Systems. Yes, their R&D team is working on something special for me. Something involving armed mercenaries? Not to my knowledge. Perhaps it's time to pay Dr. Severius a visit. We are go for linear induction launch of test payload number one. Five, four, three, two, one, induction. And away they go. Okay, Lisa, I've got Furious D across the board, boxed with the three and the eight, and wheeled up and down. Um, I think he might be developing a gambling problem. Hey, I'm watching you. Is it my imagination, or is Oberon getting smaller? Of course, Owen said it. Energy is energy. Don't wax poetic with me, Latimer. We're not celebrating the end of your career, George. We're honoring you and the Montana. If you think that circus out there is some kind of honor, you're no friend of mine and never have been. Hang on to your money, Ghost, because Furious D is closing like a horse possessed. Push you around. Be as bad as you want to be. And the winner, Furious D. Woo! All right, all right. Stewie, come on, we're going home. What the devil are you talking about? My final exam is tomorrow, and the only way I'm going to pass is if I cheat. And if I do that, what was the point of coming back to college? We can't leave. It's almost halftime, and we all pooped in the tuba. Step two. The perfect parent always screens the child's friends. Would you want your innocent young minds to fall prey to harmful influences like this? Kiss me, my queen of the galaxy. Kiss me, my king of the stars. Oh, man, that horse don't take no guff from nobody. Guff? I mean, shit. Ahoy, Flynn! Ahoy yourself. You Swabby's got a working radio? Ugh. Sure do, but our satellite hookups are spotty. I think we lost one. We lost more than a satellite, bros. Cobra captured our launch facility. But the weird thing is, they gave up following us when we hit the water. Arthur, would you quit playing with that stupid sword? We have to go! Ah! Ah! We 
have a new king! I hereby proclaim you, Arthur Reed, king of the medieval fair. Arthur outthought not only all my students, but even me. I couldn't budge that sword. You taught that boy to think for himself. I couldn't have done it better. Principal Haney, is Mr. Price Jones still going to be our teacher instead of Mr. Ratburn? Of course not. The only ones Mr. Price Jones will teach at Lakewood are my niece and nephew. <laughs> Is this a plan you've neglected to mention? You for the normal. I can't stress enough how easy it was to win this prestigious race. And furthermore... All right, now I'm getting scared. If you follow Dr. Homer's four steps to perfection, you're now a perfect parent! Your kids have probably run off with their delinquent pals to a life of crime, and it's... Hollywood is leading our kids down a moral sewer. Gotta go! Come on! Let's get some termite breath! Uh-oh, Mom Talk. J just stay here, okay? I'll be back. Bye! Don't you just hate it when guests drop by unannounced? Shall we test the new security system, sir? Why not? A little test never hurt anyone. Hit Bart's dead in the butt! Roger that! Did you factor in the wind? No. My father's alive? My play! My beautiful play! <laughs> I think I'm going to faint! What a world! V-10, get the VTR! Young Ho, we're gonna hold the fort while Teleret sets the C4. We need an edge! Dust, get that chopper in the air! Catch the two. We'll be ready. And a great one, too. <laughs> hey, watch where that water goes, Mr. Firefighter. Alma! Where are you going? What? That was Alma? That was her, all right. What is going on around here? Easy, boy. Giddy up. Get the copter under control. I'll deal with our friends. Jimmy Neutron, you ruined my show! <laughs> Strike that! Jimmy, you're a genius! Let's go, Polly. Then hold on to your holsters. Whoa! I think Betsy just sprang a leak! Go get me a trash bag. Are you hurt it, Wendy? No, Michael. Good heavens, Wendy. You might have been killed. <sighs> Alma. I can't believe it. You saved us. I never knew you were so... So... So average? So above average. So amazing. So awesome. And those are just the A words. Hey, Jimmy. Too bad we didn't get to do our big scene. But I guess I can still give you a kiss for saving our lives. I love show business. And it loves us, Jimmy. 
This was truly the most fabulous and magical night of our lives. Oh, my friend. Shame on you. Yes, indeed. Shame on you, shame. Shame, shame. And you really let your kids down. No, let, no, let, 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 let me explain. No, you don't understand. No, I didn't mean... No, no. No, you can't have him. It's all right. No one is taking our son anywhere. Taking a child from his parents is the epitome of interfering in human affairs. By your own law, you cannot allow them. Your boys have been charged with cat burglary, dog burglary, bank robbery, train robbery, jaywalking, tearing labels off mattresses, cracking gum in a library, and showing blatant disregard for the four food groups. How do they plead? Yeah, we done it. Did it. Do more next week. Ah, yeah! Everybody, lean to the left.